What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the state of ESO in 2023. This has always been a topic of conversation in the community. I don't think the game is dying by any means, but I do feel like some of the changes Zoss made last year with some of the updates definitely made a few people, not really, I wouldn't say upset, I guess maybe you would say upset, but it definitely made some people start playing other things or step away from playing the Elder Scrolls Online as much as they had in the past. And I can even say that was kind of the case for me. Um, I did not play last year as much as I did usually. And of course that did, you know, kind of involve some other things besides not having time for, you know, work in real life, making other videos and stuff, making other content for the channel. But I just felt like a lot of those updates last year just really didn't make me as interested in the game as I usually am because I didn't enjoy what those updates did for the game. And I think there's two things Zoss could really do this year to make the state of ESO a lot better. And that would be work on PvP improvements. I feel like the PvP community desperately needs some fixes. I feel like the PvP community has kind of been left out a lot. There's a lot of players that I used to know when I first started playing uh, ESO, ESO on console when it first came out that loved PvP. There's even P, uh, PC and Xbox players, you know, that are other content creators that loved PvP. And they have stepped away from the game over the years just because of the really lack of PvP content. So I think Zoss could really do some big things for PvP this year or hopefully make some improvements to it and also find a way to get players interested in the end game on the PvE side. I feel like a lot of in-game PvE players have stepped away as well because it's just not really what they were hoping for over the years when it comes to updates, especially last year. And I feel like a lot of those, uh, even if you weren't playing Trials and things like that, or even, you know, like better in Dungeons, a lot of those in-game traders, that's, that's what they love to do. For years and years, they had these big trading guilds. A lot of those people stepped away as well. So I think improving PvE and PvP content would be a great thing for ESO in 2023. I think a better reward system would also help the game. Um, I think right now what they have done for rewards are not as good as what they could do going forward. I feel like a lot of people feel like they still need ESO Plus. They still need to buy things from the Crown Store to really be rewarded for playing the game. So I think a better reward system would be really nice. Um, the thing I think a lot of people are asking right now, since we all know Zoss is making another game, we don't know what that game is going to be yet. Will the game still be as supported as much considering Zoss is going to have to kind of split their time up between still working on ESO and still, you know, or, or going forward working on that new game and making, you know, updates and things for it whenever we find out what it is and when it comes out. But they're going to have their time split between, uh, you know, ESO and whatever else they're making for the future. One thing I, I do know the directors have talked about a lot as of late, especially last year after some of those updates came out that the players weren't really thrilled with, was the director said they were going to have to rethink parts of development going forward. So I hope that's kind of what they're looking at this year with the new content system, considering they're wanting to do some parts of the year with just some bug fixes and being able to fix, you know, just the quality of life of the game. And also talking about, you know, doing stuff to improve what we already have in game. So I'm hoping that's kind of what they mean by changing or rethinking the way they develop, uh, you know, ESO in the future. But leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think ESO is going to, you know, continue going forward and, and you know, being a great game? Like I said, I really don't think that it's dying by any means. I do think some players have stepped away, but I do think those players can be brought back with the right improvements. Anyway, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.